All right, so this is the next day in pad work, and he's starting me out with this, we call it burn and tie um, drill, basically, that is just meant to build your endurance. Uh, and because it's repetition on things while you're tired, it's just kind of getting those movements into your muscles when you're tired. Uh, but it's just a warm up, basically. So the first 30 seconds is this punch, punch, kick, alternating sides. Then you do 30 seconds of burpees. It's going to be 30 seconds of knees, and then um, 30 seconds of kicks on each side with push-ups in between. It's not fun <laughs> at all. Uh, and he told me that he has the boys do three rounds of it, but that's not true. I've only ever seen them do two, which is what he had me do this morning. But he starts you out with it, one, as a warm-up to warm up your body, but also to tire you out a little bit so that you're reaching in all of your rounds subsequently. So with these knees, you can uh, grab the back of your trainer's head or you can grab one arm. Um, I'm not doing that in this day, but there are times that I do get in more of a clinch position for those knees. And I do my push-ups pretty slowly because I try to get uh, the full range of motion in them. Uh, some people will do kind of shortened pumped push-ups, which uh, just works a different part of your arms, but you can still do. I've noted in doing this warm-up that the time to catch your breath is in this stuff between the um, stuff on the pads. And because it's timed instead of numbers, um, you just try to stay at a steady pace on this part instead of uh, counting them out. But I tend to get about 40 kicks uh, in the 30 seconds almost every time. I think he might have been offering me the option to throw the kicks right away because he forgot about the kick, the uh, push-ups. <laughs> the uh, learning how to breathe while doing other stuff, like breathing on the push-ups, is actually a really good exercise in uh, learning how to breathe during active moments in a fight. So if you need to breathe and you keep someone off of you, um, or you're moving around and you can still breathe while being active rather than just backing up and trying to catch your breath, um, it's, a, it's a good way to practice breathing under uh, non-stagnant circumstances. So you don't do push-ups after that last one. You